Ah, <sighs> so I am insecure as fuck. What a lot of people don't know about me is this, actually, because when people first meet me, they say I radiate confidence, that I'm the most confident person ever, that I'm funny, I'm this and whatnot, because when people do meet me, they meet my extroverted self. They don't meet the person that is in my head, you know? So when people first meet me, they probably see me at a club where I'm dancing my ass off, just having the time of my life, because in a sense, I don't care what people think about me. But there's always this voice in your head that's like, I do care what people think about me. And it's kind of difficult to combat that sometimes. There's a lot of things that go on in our lives that we just have to deal with and you just can't help but feel like people are judging you or have a certain opinion towards you. This past year has changed my life drastically. It's changed everyone's life drastically. I went from having the job of my dreams to having no job at all to me starting here on YouTube to pretty much make an outlook. Due to the fear of being demonetized, I cannot say what we've been going through this past year, but this global crisis has changed me physically. Being an extrovert, I was shut off from the entire world. So it made it very difficult for me. And every time I try to reach out to people and say, hey, I'm struggling, I'm struggling, people just were like, get over it. Everyone's going through the same thing, so who, what makes you special and whatnot. And so I got into this really depressive state where I ended up gaining 40 pounds during this. I didn't realize how much that really bothered me until I went on vacation in Mexico. And I could tell from a lot of my photos, I'm covering my stomach. And I even back in January, I took a photo shoot of myself and I wanted to post these photos and say I'm happy in my body, but I just couldn't. I just couldn't gather the courage to post them because I felt ugly. I am now in the process of losing the weight that I've gained during this global crisis that shall not be named. And I am 20 pounds down. But even still, I look at myself and it's hard to not compare yourself to what you see on TV, to porn stars, to what people fetishize. Being part of the LGBTQ community, it's very difficult not to be self-conscious about your body because you always feel like people want a twink, a skinny 18-year-old white boy with abs. And so it's hard not to feel like you're not good enough. I've been single now for nine years and I can't help but compare myself and say, what does this person have that I don't? I know I'm a good guy. I know that I'm strong. I know that I have qualities that other people don't. And yet I'm still here single and it's difficult. It tears on you mentally and it's mentally draining knowing that there's people who are absolute assholes that are in relationships and have done nothing in their lives to someone like me who has traveled the world, who has made an impact on people in a positive way and still know that I'm single and that I don't have anyone there to love me. And I love myself. I really do love myself, but it doesn't help not to feel like this, you know? And honestly, I think Family has a lot to do with it as well because family are the type of people who won't lie to you. When you meet people and you tell them, oh, I'm fat, I'm ugly, I'm this, they're like, no, you're not, you're gorgeous, blah, blah, blah. But your family, they're like, yep, you're fat, you need to lose weight. Yes, you're this. No, you can't do this. You will never be able to do this. You'll never be able to do that. And since you're around your family much more than anybody else, your family tends to win and you just have these things in your head where you're just like, I just can't make it. I'm doing things wrong and I deserve <laughs> being alone. I deserve not being happy. And it's difficult. It's toxicity that we need to get out of our lives and whatnot. Believe it or not, I don't really use TikTok. I don't watch TikTok. But somehow these videos end up on YouTube and I end up watching them on YouTube. But this video was of this gay guy who was like, 
for Pride Month, he said, eventually everyone will die and you will be forgotten. So why care and just come out the closet? I've been out the closet for, oh, I think about 12 years now or something. So it's not has nothing to do with that, but it has more or less to do with me combating my insecurities and putting myself more out there, even though it's scary as an LGBT person to talk to a random person that you think is attractive because you're afraid that the person is straight and they might react in a completely negative way and then you literally fear for your life. But you know what? It's time to start doing things for me and not really caring what other people think. And like I said, it's not that I care what other people think, it's more or less when you hear one negative thing, it kind of sets you back and it brings you to this place where you're like, dang, maybe I'm not good enough because you just feel worthless. I guess this is pretty much me on my journey of trying to control the narrative, control my life and figuring out what's next for me. Mental health is a real thing and I don't think we talk about it enough. We always feel like women are weak and that they need the help and that men are strong and don't need the help, but we do. We struggle just as much as anybody else, but we're just caught in a cycle where it's not okay to show your feelings because it's not manly enough. And it's so, it's not okay to be insecure, be confident, be manly. I think it's time we, we make a change.